forward, left foot back. Just coming forwards and backwards, trying to come up onto those fingertips. So your torso is nice and straight, nice and upright. Leaning forward, enjoying that stretch. And then just a little hamstring stretch. So we're going to come forward and back. Again, just taking it gently. This might be the first time you've moved today. So not going into anything too quickly or too deeply. Just kind of warming the joints up. Then moving forward and backwards and forward. We'll go one more time and I'm just going to spin around here. So I want to be just here so I'm getting this nice stretch. You can be on your hands. You can just do a little forward, side to side. Okay, again, if this is way too much, just put your hands down. You can kind of walk across. Even if it, that still feels too much, just having your hands here and doing a little side. As long as you're feeling a stretch, a nice stretch, a gentle stretch, down those inner thighs, okay? So we'll just do four more. Good. Each time you might want to go a little bit deeper and then take those hands around to the other side. Again, into this runner's lunge. Up onto the fingertips. Coming forwards and backwards. Keep that right leg nice and straight. All the energy coming out of your heel as we just come forwards and backwards a few times. The chest up, chest down. Good. Okay, so I'm going to see how many rounds, I'm thinking three rounds, but I always say that and then I run out of time, because I always like to have a stretch and I always like to have a cool down, so that is always going to take preference. Good, okay, come to the middle, totally all those feet together, arms and head heavy, knees soft, feel like someone's pulling your belly button up and your pelvic floor up to the sky. As you re-step that spine, a little roll of the shoulders, good. Okay, so we're going to start with, so I'm going to be here in a nice deep plio squat, okay, trying to have your knee, um, feet underneath your knees, so I'm going to be here, chest nice and upright, so I'm going to go down, and then I'm going to come to this way, and down. Back to the middle and over to the other side. Good. So just doing it nice and slowly and controlled so you can get right in to those hips. Get them as low as you can. But if you start to rush, whoop, then that's when you start wobbling. And it just, it's a bit more, diff for me, it always feels more difficult to go slowly rather than rushing through it. So you're making every move count. Okay. Woo. Good. You can get your arms involved, but generally you might just start losing my balance if I do that. So let's just stay hands on the hips for now. Good. So as well as being strengthening, this is also a really nice strength stretching series as well. So everything is good for the body. I'm not up for like jumping around, knackering the joints. Good, keep going. As soon as I finish this, I'm going upstairs. The hair dryer is coming on, all sorts. I'm going to for once sort my hair out. Good. For four. Woo! How are your legs doing? Three. Two, last one, good, and then I want you to be in a nice downward dog, you can just pedal those feet out a few times to begin with, heels down, then I want you to come forward into a nice plank, so your shoulders above your hands, think about being in one straight line, I'm going to wobble back so you can see me. Then really slowly, I'm going to bring that left knee, elbow to left knee, elbow to right knee, back to downward dog, okay? So 
then we're going to, in fact, for an extra turbo boost, lift that right leg to the sky. Okay, come forward. Elbow, elbow, back to down the dog. Left leg to the sky. Elbow, elbow, down the dog. Good. As you bring that knee forward, trying to come up onto that toes, exhaling, trying to pull that tummy in as you exhale, bringing the knee to the chest, the leg to the sky, coming up onto the toe, pushing through those hands, exhale, exhale. Good. A few more here, right leg to the sky, coming up, exhale, pushing through those hands, exhale, exhale. One more each way, left leg up, onto the toe, exhale, exhale, good, last one, coming up, exhale, exhale, good, and walk with your hands, and again another little roll up, good, and then I want you to get back down, so with straight legs, I want you just to lean forward. Good. Gazing at the ground. So you're feeling that stretch. Trying to get on those toes. Hands to the floor. Bend those knees. I try, like to try and make every kind of transition effective. Good. So I want you to line your elbow, bum and toes up against the back mat. Then we can start. You can start with a clam. When you clam, this is a clam. Don't rock those hips back, so we're not doing this. The hips are stacked. And you're just, so keep your hand on this top hip so you can stop it kind of shifting over. So really think about the hips being stacked. And then if you want a bit more, we can come up for a little turbo clam. Good. So now we're really getting into that side body. Good. We'll do 20 on each side. Woo. Yes, we will. That's eight, nine, ten. We've got ten more. And again, if this feels too much, just drop that lower bum and just do your regular clam, which is still really good. A really good challenge. Just however you're feeling today. Last four, three, two. And one. Good. Can we do a little swivel with those legs? Up and over. Good. Again. So, start trying to get, if you think about lining up your elbow, bum and feet along the back edge of the mat, then you're generally in a perfect position. So you can start here. Good. Or we can go for it. Up and down. Trying to get right to the top of that move. Yeah, I hope everyone's okay today. The sun is just coming out. So that's good. It's Friday. My little boy, although he's almost four, has only just come out of a cot into a bed. So we had lots of exciting visits from him in the night. <laughs> so not feeling, well, actually I'm feeling fine. It would normally hit me about, you know, everyone knows the score. Can't moan about sleep. We've all been there. Still going through it. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Good. Okay. So then we're going to be on our backs, hands to the floor. We can do a little curl up. So initiating the move from your abdominals, curling that spine up. Good. Hands to the floor. Knees kind of hip distance apart so they're not spreading out. So your inner thighs are super activated. Right leg to the sky. We'll just come up and down for 10. Trying to keep that, those knees almost touching. That left glute, you can give it a little stroke just to say, come on, fire up. Wake up for me. Four, three, two, one leg to the sky, little pulses 
up and down for nine, eight, seven. Now you're going to push that foot through the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop that right foot, left leg to the sky. And then just sweeping it up and down. Good. For eight. For seven. Those knees almost touching. Last five. Four. Three. Two. One. Holding up. Push that ceiling up. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, holding those knees, just rocking up to seating. Now I want you to be here, I want you to have your fingers facing towards you, knees bent, roll those shoulders down. Give me a little tricep press here and push, straighten those legs. So we're doing a little combo here. If I shift forward backwards, then we're going to straighten, come down. I want you to roll. Roll down, good, and then roll up. So pulling through your pelvic floor, your tummy, so you're just trying to keep this area right flat on the floor as you point to your feet. And you can hold it here. And you can just bring your knees back up and pull yourself back up to seating. Or if you like, you can really slowly roll back up. So should we do that again? We're going to be here, a little tricep. Push, extend those legs. Straight legs, rolling down. Really slow, 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 she says, falling to the ground. Good, and then you can be here. You can pull back up. Good. Or here. Back up to seating, okay. Keep going, tricep, straight legs, sitting up, roll down, slow, 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 again, and roll, don't forget you can hold on to those knees to help me back up, good, tricep, oh what am I doing, tricep, straight legs, sitting up, Really slow, slow it right down. Big inhale. Back up to seating. Good. And tricep. Straight legs. Rolling it down. You can almost kind of hold onto your legs as you roll down. Inhale. Coming back up. We'll do one more. Tricep. Push. Straight legs. Up. Sitting up. And down. Tuck, 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 tuck. Inhale. Whoa. Help. Inhale. Back up to seating. Good. Okay, last move. So. I want you to do a knee and press up, okay? So again, have those elbow pits facing forward, hands under your shoulder, tuck that pelvis under, so you're pulling up through that pelvic floor, that belly button, as you just present your chest down, exhaling back, good, and then I want you to just keep going for me. So up, down, Nice and slow, for three, for two, for one, and back to child's pose, big inhale in, big exhale, good, last move, so we're going to do a donkey kick up with this left leg, okay, again, so hands under the shoulders, pushing that foot up to the sky, watch those hips don't rock over to the right, so try to have your right thigh vertical to the ground, so you can keep going here, that's great, or come with me for a little extra challenge, so I'll just tuck that toe under, my knees off the floor, I'm pushing through those hands for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, so other side, we'll take that foot up to the sky, 
So we'll do 10 kind of regular and then 10 turbo. We'll carry on regular, however you're feeling. Three, I'm about to go wild. Two, one, 10, nine. Really push through those hands. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sorry, I ended up in the downward dog to finish. Walk those feet towards you. Again, exhaling, rolling. Up, a little shoulder roll. We're gonna do that again, okay? Are we ready? We know the moves now. Just gonna pull my little leggings up over my tongue. Good, okay. Deep plie. And around. And a plie. So trying to keep that chest nice and upright the whole time. Each time you might be able to get a little bit lower as your hips warm up. Just nice and slow. Good. Keep going. Nice and slow. Good. How are we all doing? I really want to go out for dinner tonight. Really want to do my hair. Put on a nice outfit. Go out somewhere nice. Have a few drinks. And then get woken up all the night through my little three year old. That's what I really want to do. But, can't obviously. But everything's, have to keep remembering how lucky we are and everyone's healthy in my family and really the kids are at school so life is carrying on. <laughs> um, good. Woo! For four. For three. Ouch. And two. And one. Good. Ow, that really hurt. Okay, in a good way to hurt. Okay, again, little roll down. Have your legs nice and straight if you can. Walking forward into this downward dog. Okay, right leg to the sky. Coming up onto that toe as you push through those hands. Exhale, exhale, back up. So coming up. Push through those hands, exhale, exhale, and back. Pushing through those hands, exhale, exhale. So the key to getting your knee nice and high is really pushing through those hands, feel like you're coming up and out of that waist, like your wrist going to take off. Good. And really exhale, because I pull the air. Out, good, push through, exhale, exhale, last one, good, and we're going to swap sides, onto that toe, push through those hands, exhale, exhale, good, push through those hands, nice, keep going, Good, we've got four more. Good, last three. Two more. Last one. Good, again. Feet down. Walk those hands towards you. Get that stretch in the back of the legs as you pull up through and roll up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, like you're restacking that spine against the wall. We'll come back to that super clam, okay? So let's just do it. You can keep this lower bum down if it's too much, lifting it up. Or if not, go for it. Why not, hey? It's the last time we're going to do this. We can't do another round. You could do another round in your own time if you're really feeling up for it today. But I promised people 30 minutes, so. Good. Eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Pushing up. Swapping sides. Let's do it just straight away. Don't even think about it. Go. Up and down. Exhaling all the air out as you push right to the top. Good. Three, two, one. Ten more. I teased you then, didn't I? Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, what we do next? Leg bridge. Come down, let's do it. So pushing up. Good, you could do a little flex and point with that foot. Just a little movement in the ankle as you go. Always feels quite nice. A bit like being a ballerina. Three, two, one. Keep that foot flexed to the sky for ten. Nine, watch those knees don't spread out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holding it up. Put that left foot down. Right leg to the sky. Swing it up and down. Again, pointing and flexing that foot. Feels nice. Good. For five, four, how are we doing for time? Three, two, one. We've got about five minutes. Push to the sky. Good. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're going to slightly mix this up. So give me a tricep for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four. Exhale, really hollow out that core as you go down. Feel like you're pulling up through that pelvic floor, that belly button. Last one. I want to be here. You can walk down. Good. Straight those arms, stretch those legs. Give me a little curl up. Can you lift those legs up? If you're like, no way, then don't bother. If you feel like that's just too much, give me a little pulling up, rolling down. If you need a bit extra, you can curl. You can lift those knees. Tap down. Good. So curling up. Can we lift those knees and down? Curling up, lift those knees. Good, two more. Curling up, lift those knees, drop. Good, last one. Holding it here in this nice, so like you're hollowed out here. Chin to chest, elbows wide for three. Drop it a little bit lower for two. A little bit lower for one. Oh, good. Okay, we've got one more move. I'm going to do that press up. So on your knees, chest. Keep those elbows tucked into your chest as you go down and up. Good. Keep that pelvis tucked under for five, for four, three. Two and one. Give me a little twenty of these. Whoop. Four, five, six. I'm going in for the turbo. Nine, ten. Keep going if that's good for you. If not, bring that knee off the ground for eight, seven. Push through those hands. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So up sides, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap those toes, ten, nine, eight. Push in those hands, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're done. Right, we've got three minutes, so let's stretch it out. 
in there. So into that shoulder, armpit. Ah! Armpit, it's definitely an armpit. Okay, and with those hands, pull that foot gently. So I want you to feel like you're pushing against your hand. So your foot is pushing into your hand, and your hand is pushing into your foot. So it's like you're pull, pushing, pull, pushing, pull, pushing. So there's a lot of movement happening here. So your arms are working, your leg is working. Three, for push, pull, two, and one. And then just relax it a bit, okay? So stop pushing with that leg. You can just hold it here for three. Feels really nice in my hips, really like, oh, hello, but definitely well needed. Two and one. Good, swap sides. So just holding on to that foot. Again, that little tug of war. So trying to get that left knee into your armpit and then you're push pulling. Push pulling. Good. Keep going. A little push and pull, push and pull for three, for two, and one. And then just stop pushing with that foot. Just a slight pressure on it with your hands. Really feeling it in that lovely hip socket for three, two, one. Good. Last stretch. Okay. Right knee over left. Okay. Then you can pull. So try and keep your hold of your back and your shoulders and everything on the floor. You can just pull these shins towards you. Or if you can, you can lift your head and you can grab those feet. But really try and think about getting your bum on the floor, your rolling those shoulders back so they're all nice and flat on the floor. There's no extra tension, but you should really feel this in your hips, your glutes. Good, but if it's too much holding the feet, just hold on to your shins and pulling it towards you for five. Deep breaths, deep cleansing breaths for four. For three. Last one. Good, swapping sides. Ooh, you can do a little hello move. Swap knees over, lift that head up. You can just pull these shins towards you, or you can grab your feet if you can. Feels a bit more difficult this side. And again, just trying to flatten that lower back to the floor, pull those shoulder blades down and back. Big breaths. Two more breaths. And last one. Again, you could just open up, say hello to the world in this very graceful position. Holding it here 